Hi guys, Mantas here, and today I will show you how to create a B testing campaign in GetResponse and explain why do you need to use this function in your email marketing. So stay tuned till the end and I will show you all exact process. So first of all, you have to log in, of course, to your GetResponse account. And now to access that function, you have to go to your email marketing and A-B tests. Now you have to create A-B test. So A-B test used only in your newsletters, not in autoresponders like automated messages or drip campaigns. It only used in newsletter type emails so now let's say i'm gonna name i can name this a b test let's say let's assume i have created a blog post about uh, how to create good pinterest images which attracts clicks yeah so let's say i'm gonna name it Pinterest as a campaign name, like A B test campaign name. Now, what we're testing here, we're testing subject lines. So you can add here up to five subject lines. And why is this matter, guys? This is matter because Google and other email service providers now scans all your text, all all you know your headlines as well. And if you send large quantity of emails with the same subject line, with the same content, they may refuse to deliver some of them. Also, from the user perspective, from your subscriber perspective, you will test variety of subject lines. So you will get better idea which get more opens and more clicks. So let's see straight how to create pinterest images which let's say with high ctr let's say i'm sending for someone in b2b b2c or everyone in marketing niche and they know what is CTR. CTR means click through rate. So another one might be I might even test the same subject line just by adding emoji. And did you know emoji in a subject line may increase your open rates by 10 or even 20%? So let's add something like. I don't know, maybe this one, and I could add one as a first character. Let's say this one. And you can create five subject lines. For the sake of example, I'm going to leave just two. So, what's next? You have to add recipients. So, for which list you will send this? Let's say I'm going to send to one of my lists. Next you have to design a message. And now you can create uh, your email design from scratch or you could use these pre-designed templates. Let's say I'm gonna choose this one. And if you have written a blog post, you can, you know, just add some text from that blog post like intro and tell them why they need to open that email and everything else. Let's say my email is written already. 
so I'm just gonna click next but you can edit all of these sections right and your text add your images or even videos so So now we have recipients, we have designed content, and now we have A-B test settings. So now we have to set this up. And you can use a slider. And as you can see, the percentage, the percent is changing when I'm dragging the slider. So... I have only two headlines, so it shows like different colors here, but A-B test can be sent only to 50% of your subscribers, and that's alright. So, 50%, let's say I have 100 subscribers, and 50% will be split tested. So that means 50 of these people uh, would get different emails with different headline and if you like split this into five headlines so every 10 users would get the same email with the same, the same headline and now get response asking should we send winning message automatically I usually leave this to yes and how should we choose the winning message by open rate and click rate and you can choose whatever you want but actually this is paradox sometimes emails opened more times get less clicks and that's paradox but you have you can test you know whichever option you want and they will choose that winning message how long it takes you know to, to test that message so when you send when you start at a b test they will s start sending these emails how long they should wait until they will decide which is the winning message so many case study shows that most of your newsletters will be opened in the first hour so literally you don't even need to leave that one day i would leave that to zero days and let's say five hours and that would be my optimal time let's say i'm gonna save this one and also i'm always checking click tracking and uh, if you use google analytics you can track link clicks with google and when you should like to send your message so if you are pre-creating these a b tests in a, for a future you know in the future so i don't know maybe you just decided it would be good to send on monday or tuesday so you can schedule it for later if not you can send immediately and let's say i would like to send this on 18 6 o'clock in the evening when everyone finished job and you have to pick your time zone so time zone you have to open your reports and check what is uh, the country of your subscribers uh, is the most like what country are your subscribers so if you are in uk you can use gmt0 if you are somewhere else pick up your time zone and you can schedule your message so that's how you create split test a b testing campaign in get response so i hope you like this video guys give this video a thumbs up Leave your messages in the comments and I will talk to you soon. Cheers.